The Air Design Street Series lower balance that we have here today would be an awesome way to add a little bit more of an aggressive look to the front end of your 2018 through 2020 F-150 at home. Now this paintable option will arrive satin black right out of the box and will feature a very durable and very pliable polymer build along with a three year 36,000 mile warranty. Now, as far as your features are concerned here, this is certainly gonna be more of an appearance modification first, as opposed to adding any functionality. Now, the site might mention something about reducing air pressure under the truck, adding more downforce, yada, 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 but let's be honest here, guys, this is ultimately a truck and not a race car, so that stuff should certainly be taken with a grain of salt. But when it does come to appearance, that's where this thing will really shine as it certainly does add a sportier look, I feel, to the front end and gives it a little bit more muscle overall while still retaining the use of your factory tow hooks. Moving into construction, you're gonna have a durable polymer material here, which is exactly what you would want underneath the front bumper. Handling this thing in the shop, it's very thick, it's very pliable, easily should be able to withstand any light impacts or road debris while installed without adding any unnecessary weight to the front end. Now that polymer has been finished in a satin black paint job right out of the box and does have a UV coating baked in to help prevent any fading over the years. Now the contrast of the satin black should look good on just about any color F-150 out there, but if you maybe preferred a different look, you could always paint match the air design balance to actually match the color of your truck, which by the way is something a lot of our customers have done. And as always, you can see those images in the customer review section back on the site if you haven't done so already. Price point for the balance is gonna live in that low $200 range, which I think seems pretty fair because ultimately it's much cheaper than changing out the front bumper completely and at the same time will still deliver a pretty aggressive look. Now, if you wanted to increase that look even further, Air Design does also sell an additional chin spoiler to be used in conjunction here with the balance itself. You can find that here on the site for right around 200 bucks, and with the two together, I feel like delivers a very street truck kind of look, certainly more aggressive than just the balance by itself. But enough about all that, what do you say we move into the installation and Air Design does include all of the hardware needed for the job. Therefore, the site's gonna call this one a pretty solid one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter, about 30 minutes or so to complete from start to finish. But now what do you say we grab our toolbox, let's head out to the shop for our detailed walkthrough and tool breakdown. The tools you'll need for this project are a ratchet, a various assortment of extensions, a universal joint, seven millimeter socket, eight millimeter socket, a short 10 millimeter socket, and a deep 10 millimeter socket, all in quarter inch drive, and a magnetic retrieval tool. Hi everyone. Today we're going to be installing a lower balance on our F-150, but before we can do that, we need to get the old one uninstalled. So let's get busy with that. Now you'll notice that we've got our truck up on a lift, but you can easily do this job with the truck on the ground but we've got ours up in the air so we can show you some of the details a little bit better than if it was on the ground. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is remove these two bolts right here from our lower grill filler panel using our seven millimeter socket and then remove the two on the other side as well. Now with the four bolts removed from our filler panel, all we have to do now is just pull it away from the body and remove it completely. So there are some bolts in this factory valance that are hidden and you can't access them unless we remove the fog lights first. So in order to do that, we've got two bolts on top for the fog lights and two bolts on the bottom. So let's take out these top ones first and then we'll get to the ones up below. Now these two upper bolts for our fog lights are a little bit difficult to see and a little bit difficult to get to. So that you may have trouble seeing them on camera but you're going to want to use an eight millimeter wrench in order to remove them. Now we can remove the two lower bolts for our fog lights here. That'll give us access to the three hidden bolts for our balance. So here are our two bolts that we need to remove.
Now we can just pull our fog light away from the bumper and that'll give us access from the top to get to our three hidden bolts. So we've got five nuts on this end that need to be removed, five on the other end, and eight in the middle. There's three that you can access directly underneath the fog light housing, which is why we had to remove it first. So you get these three out of the way, leave the two on the ends to support it while you're taking out the rest of them, and then the rest of the nuts can be accessed from underneath the vehicle. Now we can remove the three nuts directly underneath the fog light housing using our 10 millimeter socket and a universal joint. And you can repeat that process for the three underneath the fog light housing for the other side. So here's our inside one that we can take off first using our 10 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna to move to the inside ones and get those removed. All right, we're down to our last two nuts. So we're gonna remove this one and then you can repeat on the other side. Now before we actually get to the actual install part, I wanna let you know that the new Valance only has 11 bolts to connect it to the bottom of the bumper as opposed to the original that had 18. So don't worry about the different numbers. This will work just fine. My recommendation is to start in the middle of this valance to help support it while you're doing the rest of the install. Now the way you're going to do this install is you're going to use one of these small bolts with a washer on it. It's going to go through the bottom of the bumper and the valance and then you're going to put a washer and a nut on the other end of it. Now the three bolts on the ends are, are the ones that are underneath the fog light. So you may find it very helpful to use a magnetic retrieving tool to help place these bolts in place since you have to do that from the front of the vehicle. Once you've got the three on this side installed, now you can go ahead and do the other side. And once all the bolts are installed, then you can adjust it and go ahead and tighten everything down using your 10 millimeter wrench and your 10 millimeter socket. Now, one thing you will notice about this valance is it is designed to work with a set of fender flares that we're not installing on our vehicle. So you'll notice that there's a hole right here on the end of the valance. That's usually used to connect it to the fender flares but we're just gonna use the supplied push pin to fill that in and cover it up. And you can do the same thing for the other side. Now, once you've got your valance installed and adjusted and tightened down, then we can go ahead and reinstall our lower grill filler panel. All right, once we've got our filler panel snapped into place, then we can reinstall our two seven millimeter screws and tighten them down with our seven millimeter socket. And repeat that for the other side. 
And that wraps up our review and install of the Air Design Street Series front lower valance in satin black for the 18 to 20 F-150, excluding the Raptor. Thanks for watching, and remember, for everything F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.